Oh, see who's there. Hi, Gilbert. How are you doing today? Oh, hi there. I'm fine, but my studies are stressing me. Why are they stressing you, Gilbert? Well, we learned about morphemes the other day, but I really don't understand them. Oh, what a coincidence, Gilbert. I've got just what you need right now. Great. Let's start with the definition. A morpheme is the smallest meaningful constituent of a linguistic expression. If we, for example, take the word unbreakable, we can break it down into three morphemes. Un, break, and able. The morpheme un signifies not. Break is the root of the word. Able signifies capable of. Here we can perfectly see that each of the three morphemes adds a specific meaning to the word, and we are unable to break the morphemes further down. Ah, now I get it. Morphemes are just small parts that add meaning to a word. Exactly, but it doesn't end there, Gilbert. Further, we can classify morphemes into free morphemes and bound morphemes. Free morphemes can function independently as words, for example, dog or town. But also, words like move and go are free morphemes. Bound morphemes appear only as parts of words in conjunction with a root. Examples for this are the morphemes un and ing. Oh wow, I never heard about this. But what about syllables? What is their connection to morphemes? They seem kind of similar to me. Gilbert, remember that morpheme does not mean syllable. It is possible that a word has multiple syllables, but is only one morpheme. The word banana, for example, consists of multiple syllables but it is just one morpheme as we cannot break it further down into meaningful parts. Likewise, a word can have just one syllable but consist of multiple morphemes. Examples for this are the words cats and talks. You will get a more detailed explanation of syllables at a later point. Just remember for now that morphemes and syllables are different things. Thank you very much. Now I understand morphemes much better. If you want to learn more with me, subscribe and share your examples of morphemes in the comments so we can all learn more about them. See you next time.